So we know that this equation now looks very similar, I mean looks exactly the same as the one above because both have the variables this on, on their on their one side. So what we can do is equate equation one with equation two. So equation one is this and equation two is this and let's equate them together. So what's equation one again? Equation one was hf minus hf prime plus me squared. Okay, let's let's bring it all the way down to here. So we have from the equation before we have hf minus hf prime plus minus on the electron c squared squared minus m e squared c to the power of four, and that equals to our current one, which is h squared f squared plus h squared f prime squared minus two, there's a lot of squares in this one, cos theta. Okay, now this comes the uh, interesting part where it's uh, the math becomes more tedious. Just when you thought that it, could, it couldn't get any more tedious, here we go. Now in order to simplify this, we have to expand this bracket out, which is a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna spare you the pain or actually, you know, since I've already put a disclaimer before this video and said that this is only for those who are in, who will get bored in math with math, I'm gonna ex expand the whole dang thing out for you guys. So let's expand it, and I'm not gonna talk. I'm just gonna write it down. So let's have a moment of silence for me. Do, 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 do. I cannot stand silence. <laughs> Hopefully, my math is right. Um, HF prime C squared plus, and bring it over. Now we can see how much, how long this is. Um, HF prime C squared plus squared C four. Um, minus M E squared C power four equals to this lovely equation on the right, which is h squared f squared plus squared f prime squared minus 2 h squared f, oops, f f prime cos theta. Okay, now we can see that we can cancel terms out here. So let's cancel a few terms out. What do we have? What what do we see similar? Oh, I see one, this and that, cancel out. What else, what else, what else, what else? Oh, this and this one. Okay, anything else? Um. Oh, right here. These two cancel out. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? I might have missed something. Nope. Okay. So let's rewrite this whole thing out. So we know that this and this are equal. So they will add up to two h squared f f prime f f prime. And I'm and I'm talking about the, these two right here. And you can see. Um, what else do we have? Oh, this one and this one. So be a plus two h f m e c squared. What else? Lastly, we have this left. So minus two h f prime m e c squared. All equal to negative two h squared f f prime cos theta. Whew. Okay. There we go. Tediousness over. Now this looks kind of you know, kind of large and you know, not tidy. So let's tidy this up a bit. We can group that according to common factors. And we see that this one looks very similar to this one over here. So let's bring it all the way over to that side. So what we have, 2HF MEC squared minus 2HF prime MEC squared equals to, and we brought this over, so we get H squared FF prime minus 2H squared FF prime cos theta. And that's common factor because we know factoring makes it so much neater. So let's common factor it out. Oh, we can't factor the f out, sorry. We can factor the m e and the c squared out and we get f minus f prime. And this one is pretty easy to factor out. Just two, this is this. Factor out become one minus cos theta. Okay. And when we see this one minus cos theta, a bell should ring in your head because what is it similar to? It's similar to the original equation, one minus cos theta. So we know that we're on the right track. Okay, now the next step, we're gonna divide by, divide by this two h f f prime 
M E C. And the reason why we're doing this is going to be apparent once we solve it. So let's just divide. So let's rewrite the equation 2HMEC squared F minus F prime equals to 2H squared F F prime 1 minus cos theta. Okay, and we're dividing both sides by 2H F F prime MEC over 2 h f f prime m e c and we cancel terms out we get this cancel out we get what else what else this and this oh the c cancel out and this one we get this this and the h cancels out the f the two f's cancel out okay so this is what we have left and it looks pretty messy so let's simplify this and, and make it a little bit um clearer to see we have c times f minus f prime over f f prime equals two um nope not a two the two is cancelled out what do we have um h sorry yeah the h h one minus cos theta over m e c okay let's expand it out and break it up so it becomes c times f over f f prime minus c times f prime over f f prime and we know that these two cancel out these two cancel out equals to h over M E C times one minus cos theta. Oh, oops, cos theta. And we know that the left the left side is done because we know it's exactly similar. It's exactly the same to the original equation right here. So we know that the left side is done. All we need to do is to make these the right side. I mean the left side um so exactly the same as the as the as the equation. Okay, so we have on this side we have c over f prime minus c over f equals to h over m e c one minus cos theta almost done now the last bit of knowledge that we need to use is the universal wave equation and we know that since c equals to lambda f which is equal to lambda prime f prime we can use this here so we have lambda f prime lambda prime f prime and over f prime minus lambda f over f equals to h over m e c times 1 minus cos theta and we cancel it out cancel it out and voila what do we get lambda prime minus lambda equals to h over m e c 1 minus cos theta and dun 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 dun, dun after 15 minutes worth of calculations we derived the formula therefore Q E D and we have derived the said formula, the Compton scattering effect formula. Ta -da -da, right here. So hopefully you guys understand understood the derivation of it and hopefully it wasn't too boring, you know, because I was not really talking to you guys, I was more of a I don't know, because like when when I'm trying to I'm trying to do it when I'm trying to derive the formula, I can't really talk much. Because, you know, I'm trying to think my head at the same time as I'm talking, so it's kind of hard to do it. But yeah, hopefully you guys can see how um, how Compton derived it using the laws of conservation of energy and the conservation of momentum. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.